Hey guys, Weapon Gaming back bringing another video today for our Weapon Conversion Series, and today we're covering all the M13 builds that you can make in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So there's a couple different builds and variants that you can make in-game. I'm going to be doing something very similar to what we did with the M4s and the AKs, as well as the MP5s. We're going to go in through all the builds here. I'll link all the timestamps down below in the description. I'm going to be trying to include in real life build of these or the pictures for all the builds, so check out the timestamps there. Also include all the previous conversion videos that I've already done for some of these down below if you're looking for more information and detail into the weapon itself. So go ahead and check that out in the description. I'll try and pin it also on the comments down below. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First off, we're going to start, there's over 10 plus builds here that we can make. So we're going to go ahead and start with the SIG MCX LVAW or the Black Mamba. LVAW standing for the Low Visibility Assault Weapon. So I did a conversion video on this just the other day. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go through some of the new attachments. I'll go through the pros and cons, but I'm not going to reiterate it every time. Otherwise, the video is just going to extend too long. So we'll go through it for a couple of these and otherwise just kind of refer to the other builds. And if you're looking for the pros and cons, we'll check out the videos in the description below. So again, the SIG, SIG MCX LBAW, this is part of the SIG original SIG MCX series, which was launched in 2015. Now the base M13 in game is the SIG, excuse me, the SIG MCX Virtus, and again, this is part of the LVAW here is part of the original MCX series, which was in in use from 2015 through 2017. So this is the LVAW, the Low Visibility Assault Weapon. This is, has an integral suppressor on it. So we'll go ahead and back out. You can see here the build that I'm using to replicate the in real life ver version of the weapon has the Tempest Cyclone build on this. So again, this is integral suppressor. So you're getting two for one by negating the barrel attachment. You're getting the suppressor already built into the barrel itself. So this is gonna assist with the sound suppression and bullet velocity, the cons being the ADS speed on the weapon. You can see here, we do not have room to attach a muzzle on this weapon. Now we're skipping on the laser. The optic, you'll see me use this a lot on these. Uh, this in real life is the Leopold hammer sight. You have that 3.25 zoom with the top mounted red dot sight. I like this one the best just because I can engage at medium long as well as close CQC situations with that red dot sight mounted on top of the hammer. Now, pros for this, re reflex and scout toggle. We can toggle between the two. Zoom level as well as the cons being ADS speed, which you're going to get very similar uh, pros and cons for all of these, so I'm not going to go through them again. The only thing, the cannon sights as well as the integral hybrids here, is the only ones that you'll see the reflex toggle option on these is if you go to something like a standard hollow or a, or a uh, reflex site you won't get the the toggle option obviously because you just have a standard red dot site now the stock we're going to stay with the base stock on this as well as skip out on the perk now for the grip i'm using the rubberized grip tape here for recoil control the con being aiming stability now in Real life to replicate this, we want either a standard 556 five, rounds or the 300 blackout rounds on the weapon. So if we were to put the 300 blackout rounds on, this is going to assist with the pros being the damage at range, no visible tracers, no enemy skulls, the cons being bullet velocity as well as recoil control. So you can use the LVAW comes in both 300 blackout and 556. Five, so you can utilize either of those attachments. Uh, you saw I had the 60 selected as well because this is what I use in Warzone. But again, for real life, we either want the 300 blackout 30 round mag or the standard 556 five, that we see here. Now I'm using the tank blueprint on this video. I'll cover that blueprint more towards the end of the video. Check the timestamp down below. The under barrel attachment, I'm using the commando foregrip. Again, this this and the, the commando foregrip and the tactical foregrip are the only two that you don't get any con for the ADS speed on the weapon. I prefer the commando foregrip just because you get the recoil stabilization along with the aiming stability, which you get with the tactical foregrip, and the cons being the movement speed on the weapon. So you can do, again, this is personal preference. You can go with a Merc foregrip or even a Ranger foregrip on the weapon. Really all depends, but again, this is the so the 300 blackout rounds this is the sig mcx series lvaw low visibility assault weapon or the black mob and i were using the tank blueprint as i said here with this particular build um, i'll link that down below now one other build i have for this if i go to my lvaw2 really quick go ahead all the same attachments just have a five milliwatt laser that's going to assist with the hip fire accuracy as well as the sprint to fire speed the con here being that the laser is visible to enemies um, now, so you can do that, and then if you wanted to deselect that, you could do something like a skeleton stock as well for the aim, walk, and movement speed and ADS speed, which the con here would be the aim and stability. But again, these are two a couple different builds for the LVAW or the low visibility assault weapon for the Black Mamba. So we'll go ahead and back out and go to our next build. This is going to be the Virtus SBR. So. The base M13 in game, as I said, is the SIG Virtus series, uh, which was uh, put in production in service from 2017 forward. Now, again, this is not in military service. Uh, it's used by some law enforcement and private agencies as well, uh, and civilian use you can buy as well, just with only a single fire option, obviously. 
So this is the Sig Virtus SBR, the short barreled rifle. The barrel on this one is going to go with the Tempest Mini. This is going to assist the shortest barrel attachment, first of all, for the M13. It's going to assist with the ADS speed as well as the movement speed, the combi, and the bullet velocity and recoil control. So you get a much more compact SBR variant of the weapon. Now, in real life, uh, the Sig Virtus comes in either 11.5 inch, or this, excuse me, the Sig Virtus SBR short barrel rifle comes in either 11.5 inch, 5.5, or a 9 inch barrel for both 5.56 and 300 blackout. Now, for this build, we're using the 5 milliwatt laser on the weapon. Again, same pros and cons. I'm not going to reiterate it just because it's going to take too long. But you can see cosmetically how it looks. Uh, this is really a personal preference which one you want to run on this. But since it is a short barrel rifle, using it more very compact, uh, I, I like to use it with the 5 milliwatt just for hip fire accuracy when I need it. Now, the optic, we're running the standard holographic optic or the EOTech sight on this one. Again, precision sight picture with a slight negation to the ADS speed. But again, it looks cosmetically very nice on the weapon. Now here we're running for the stock, the standard M13 skeleton stock for the aim walking movement speed as well as the ADS speed. The con here is the aiming stability. And then for an underbarrel attachment, I like the Ranger foregrip just because it's going to assist with the recoil control as well as the aiming stability. The cons being aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed. So again, this does come in 300 blackout as well. So you can go with either option, whichever one you prefer. 300 blackout is going to give you more damage at range as well as some other pros also, so that's going to be a personal choice. But again, this is the Sig Virtus Series SBR short barrel rifle. In real life, this one comes in, as I said, 11 and a half, 5.5, and 9 inch. With the 9 inch barrel, 9 inch build of the Virtus SBR is typically the 300 blackout round in game here. This Tempest Mini doesn't specify what the barrel is, but it's going to be typically about an 8 inch or a 9 inch barrel uh, in game. So match it up with that 9 inch barrel in real life. Next up, we have the MCX Rattler. So for this one, I'm using the Short Stuff Blueprint, which I will get into down here a little bit down the road. So check out that in the timestamps down below. So the SIG MCX Rattler, Rattler, this is a cosmetic conversion mainly. We're using the Short Stuff Blueprint here. You can see I have it selected. Or well, you can't see here because I have it saved as a blueprint. But we'll look at it when we get down to it. This is the Short Stuff Blueprint. This is what's used, essentially the blueprint used in single player for some of the night operation missions. But this blueprint also changes cosmetically the Tempest Mini handguard more so replicates what we see on the Rattler, as well as the skeleton stock almost replicates what we see on the Rattler, which is that SIG PCB or the pistol pivoting contour folding brace, except it's not quite there. We have uh, two connectors there instead of the one which would fold. And here, this is an adjustable stock, very similar to what we see on an MP5. But again, very similar conversion cosmetically to the MCX Rattler. And also coming in 300 blackout, the Rattler in real life either is either 300 blackout or 5.56. Pretty much typical with almost any MCX or MCX Virtus series of, of weapons. Now again, we're using just the Ranger Fork up here. Because I have the 300 blackout rounds, it's going to really assist with the recoil control on the weapon. And now this is the final product of the SIG MCX Rattler. Again, not quite 100% 100% a Rattler, but... The cosmetic changes with the short stuff blueprint give us a different handguard as well as a brace to more so cosmetically change this into a Rattler. And obviously you have the right ammo conversions to make it. So in real life, we would want a shorter barrel. The Rattler comes in a five and a half inch barrel. Obviously we don't have the Tempest Mini isn't labeled for length. So it's somewhere between a five and a half and an eight. And I believe it's closer to an eight. So you can kind of play with it either or. Um, but again, cosmetically, this is very close to an MCX Rattler. So we'll go ahead and back out and go to our next build. This is going to be the SIG MCX Virtus Patrol. So the Virtus Patrol comes with that 16-inch barrel, and this is the standard configuration for the Virtus series of rifles. So here we'll go ahead and back out and go in for the barrel. This is the only barrel on the M13 that's labeled in length. This is the 16-inch chrome molly barrel. The pros here are the damage at range, bullet velocity, as well as the recoil control. The cons being the ADS speed as well as the movement speed. Now, I'm running a tech laser on this just because I really like cosmetically how this looks. This is really personal preference, but I think it looks really aesthetically pleasing with that tech laser on the weapon. So I really do like using this in multiplayer as well as war zones, depending on what kind of game I'm using. But typically, I use this in multiplayer. This is going to assist with the aim down sight speed as well as the aim and stability as well as aim walking steadiness. And the con here is that the laser is visible to enemies, but it's only when you're ADSing. So if you're careful about where you're ADSing, if you're pre-aiming, aim at a wall so you're not exposing your position to the enemy. And you're, if you're careful about it, the pros far outweigh the cons, in my opinion. Now, we're using just a standard holographic, the standard butt stock, the grip we're utilizing for the pistol grip, we're using the rubberized grip tape for the recoil control. 
And we're using a standard 5 by 6 ammo. And then for the under barrel, I'm using just the standard Merc foregrip for recoil control and hip fire accuracy. The cons being aim walking movement speed and ADS speed. But again, if you didn't want to take the ADS speed, you can go with the commando foregrip on the weapon. But again, this is the SIG Virtus MCX, SIG MCX Virtus Patrol. This is the standard configuration for the Virtus series of rifles. So let's go ahead and back out. We'll go to our next build, which is the SIG MCX MR. So this is a different derivative of the MCX series. First off, I'll go ahead and jump in here. So this is the failed attempt into the United States Army's uh, CSAS program or the Compact Semi-Automatic Sniper Rifle. This is in real life. It's chambered at 7.62 by 51. We don't have that option. So you'll see I'm running it with the 300 Blackout here to try and replicate it best we can. Again, this is a failed entry to the CCS program in real life. It comes with a 20 round box mag, which is interchangeable with an SR-25 as well as the SR-25 lower receiver on the weapon. But again, this was a failed attempt, uh, unfortunately by six hour, but it is a pretty nice looking rifle, especially in real life. So the attachments we have here are gonna be the Tempest Marksman. Again, this is the same 16 inch chrome model we just went over. We want that long range for this to use it, utilize it as a mid range rifle for the compact semi-automatic sniper system. We're using a variable scope here. This is going to assist with the zoom level. Again, you can toggle on this and the magnification toggle. So the three and a half, or excuse me, a 3.0 times and a 6.1 times you can toggle between for the three times more so closer as well as a 6.1 to engage at long range, just like a DMR would. And the cons being the ADS speed, as you see with every optic on any weapon in the game. Now for the stock, we're going that Magpul ACS with the Ford's Tac Stalker. This is going to assist with the aiming stability on the weapon just because we are using it as a mid-range rifle or, or a DMR type build with the compact sniper system. So we'll go ahead and put that on there. It's going to assist with our aiming stability. And then for the ammunition, again, we don't have 762 by 51 in game. So we're going to use the 300 blackout to replicate that best we can. And then the under barrel here, I'm using a bipod. But again, if you don't want to use it as it's really intended, this is more so for the in real life version of the weapon. You can run any other grip on it to use it as you want. For this one, I typically, uh, I'll link the video down below for the actual conversion. I tap fire this just because if you're using it as a DMR or the CSAS, the compact sniper system, you really aren't going to be firing this at full auto. So you can either tap this or burst. You do have a burst option on the M13, but I think you can tap fire quicker or even just keep it on full auto and and tap fire to burst the weapon. But again, this is the SIG MCX, or the SIG MCX Virtus MR as part of the fail attempt to the CCS. So the SIG MCX MR or the mid range rifle. We'll go ahead and back out. Now we're gonna get into some of the blueprints as well as some Warzone builds. So the short stuff blueprint you saw, I used this for the Rattler. So this was available in season one in shop. And this is the short step blueprint making those cosmetic changes you can see here to the handguard as well as the uh, buttstock of the weapon as well as the magazine. We have some additional tape and the handguard is cosmetically changed as well as we have tape and rubber band on there. So this is what's used in the clean house and wolf den mission in single player. So I'll link that video down below. Uh, so what I did here is replicate this to that those missions. So this is exactly what's used in single player in those missions. And obviously we have a tactical suppressor that's going to assist with sound suppression, the cons of the ADS speed and aim walking steadiness. We have that short Tempest mini barrel with the cosmetic changes for the short stuff blueprint. Again, this was available in shop in season one, but don't worry if you didn't get it, there's another option which we'll get to next. Now in those missions for clean house, we have the five milliwatt laser. Again, this is hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed. We had an operator reflex sight, uh, just a standard red dot sight, nothing special here. The stock is going to be the skeleton stock. And again, with this short stuff blueprint, it's going to cosmetically change that. Same as we discussed with the Rattler. The only, uh, we also have the changes here for the 556. The standard magazine has that, uh, the brown tape with 05 UK written on the weapon for the tape. So those are really the cosmetic changes for this. We have a little bit of changes to the handguard. We have the black electrical tape as well as the brown rubber band holding the laser in place where you would activate that on the left hand side of the weapon. Uh, the upper receiver is also slightly different to the weapon and the charging handle there. Uh, something similar to a Raptor charging handle, we have a little bit of uh, almost gold uh, camouflage changes or color changes to the charging handle on the weapon. So that is the short stuff blueprint. We'll go ahead and back out now. If you didn't purchase that in Season 1, you can get the die cast blueprint, which was for free in the Season 2 battle stream if you bought into it. Again, the exact same thing. The only changes here are going to be you have the... Rubber band is now going to be black. So if I were to slap a 
If I were to put a tack laser on this, or excuse me, let's do a five, let's do a five milliwatt to stage. So again, same exact cosmetic changes you can see there, except we have a little bit of white on the rubber band now and where the laser is activated on the left hand side of the weapon. The only other additions to this die cast blueprint are you can see you have a gold for the ejection port as well as the stickers that are on the left hand side of the weapon for the upper and lower receiver there and as well as the magazine we have black tape and we have those like white claw marks for almost like a raptor claw or whatever they're going for there. We have some gold on the weapon but other than that it's the exact same thing as a short stuff blueprint just a little bit different again this one's for free in the season two battle stream so if you didn't get the short stuff blueprint the die cast is going to be the exact same thing very minor changes you can build it the exact same as we did with the short stuff but you want to use it for how it's used in single player for those two missions being clean house and the wolf's den Next up is the tank blueprint. So the tank blueprint, again, this was uh, came in a bundle in season two. I don't recall off the top of my head what the bundle was, so I'll link that down below. I did a video on it. Now, this is essentially the same as the Sig Virtus SBR, the short barrel rifle. We're using all the same attachments minus a couple here that came with the blueprint. So one addition I'm using is a compensator just to assist with the recoil control, the cons here, the ADS speed, as well as aiming stability. Now we're using that same Tempest Mini barrel, the... Optic is going to be a PBX hollow, so very similar to the EOTech or the holographic, just uh, slightly cosmetic changes with this. You can see it's kind of a gray or a UDT green, similar to the, to what we see the lower receiver on the weapon that comes with the blueprint. So those are the color change to this is, is specific for the blueprint itself. Skeleton stock, again, same as we saw with the previous skeleton stocks. The cosmetic changes here being that we have yellow tape as well as what looks like white paint splatter on the base of the side and the top of the stock as well as we see that on the rest of the weapon as well. Next up would be the Merc foregrip. Again, this comes with the blueprint for the tank as well for the recoil control and hip fire accuracy with the cons being aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed. You know, one thing, the cosmetic changes to this, you can see with the Merc foregrip, the lower receiver and the pistol grip of the weapon are that UDT green. And then we have, as I said, the grayish uh, PBX hollow and what we see the change on the skeleton stock as well. Other than that, uh, the exact same M13, just minus those changes. You can see cosmetically, it looks very nice. I use this blueprint almost on all my M13 builds in the game now, just because I really like the addition of the different colored lower receiver. I think it looks really nice and sleek, very aesthetically pleasing, especially how the skeleton side looks. I, I like those changes on this particular blueprint, but I'll link that video down below if you're per curious just to purchase this and what bundle it did come with for season two. So next up, just some Warzone builds. Now, we already went over the low visibility assault weapon builds, so I'll leave that. Now, the Warzone builds, uh, pretty much what's meta right now in Warzone, and I use I use this. I started to use this almost right away when Warzone came out, actually. Uh, the minor changes to what we've covered here, you see I'm using the tank blueprint. This is my solo build. I'm using the monolithic suppressor for sound suppression and damage at range because in Warzone, you're playing much differently than you would in multiplayer for the most part. Uh, so you want as much damage at range as possible, as well as sound suppression to stay off the mini-map. The con here is the ADS speed and the aim walking steadiness, but those don't really impact us as much in Warzone as they would in multiplayer. Now we have that Tempest Marksman. This is the longest barrel. Again, this is going to negate our uh, recoil on the weapon as well. So it's going to assist with that, with damage at range again. So going adding on to what we have the monolithic suppressor, we're going to get optimal damage at range with this weapon. Now I'm going with that Leopold Hammer Sight or the Integral Hybrid again just to toggle between the 3.25 3 zoom and have that candle red dot if I get in CQC situations as well. Stock, going with the base stock here. And then for this, again, being my solo build, I run 300 Blackout on this just because you're typically running in one-on-one -on -one engagements. This is going to really put enemies down much faster, in my opinion, than 500, or excuse me, than the 556. So the 300 Blackout rounds, this is for solo Typically, you're on one-on-one -on -one engagements, and you're going to drop people very, very quick with this. And I've won uh, all my solo games that I've won. I've won with 300 blackout rounds on the weapon. Definitely saved me when I've been in some crunches. Then again, I'm running the Commando Foregrip just because I'm not taking any more hits to the ADS speed. And this is going to help as much as I need it to with the recoil stabilization and aim and stability to keep my shots on target. So this is my solo build for Warzone. Now, if I'm running in squads and I'm running this... I'm going to run the 60 round magazine and this is going to do the exact same except I'm engaging more than one enemy at once. So I'm going to want the extra ammunition. So this is my, my main war zone build right here as well as basically the meta war zone build. You can run different optics on this. One would be the VLK 
3.0 optic, which is really gonna, I think it's bugged still where it assists with your recoil control, but regardless, it's a very nice Russian precision sight pitcher, and you're able to get shots on target very easily, but you just can't toggle with this to three times optic. Now, the other Warzone build that I use is it basically exactly the LVAW Black Mamba that we went over in the beginning. So this is the exact same thing for the most part, minus I'll run 60 round again if I'm in squads, and then I'll run the 300 Blackout if I am in solos. And this I'll run typically uh, with an overkill class, and I'll have a, a sniper rifle or a DMR build that I have on, and I'll run that. But again, this is the two Warzone builds that I love for the M13. Now, just... Uh, some attachments or maybe we can see for season three since season three is coming out wednesday obviously the rattler isn't 100 percent, so i'd really like to see a full cosmetic change to actually replicate the rattler with a little bit more accurate handguard as well as the pcb brace that comes on the rattler i think that'd be really nice to get that blueprint i'd also like to see a ammo conversion to essentially turn this into a let's see where it is so we can use the rattler as, as a base but if we got an ammo conversion kit for this we've seen those with the uzi as well as some other weapons give us some nine millimeter ammo attachments on this and that would change the lower receiver of the weapon to give us a sig mpx nine millimeter submachine gun for the weapon that'd be very nice too so those are two different attachments and some blueprints that i want to see for the m13 coming in season three i think it'd be really nice to see those but again this is all the m13 builds in call of duty modern warfare as of season two let me know down below what you think of the M13. Again, very good in multiplayer, a little bit underpowered, but I really, really love this. It shines really, really well in Warzone, and I really do enjoy using it in multiplayer too. Just know you're all, you are going to get out damaged by other weapons, but again, very good weapon, and I love using this. But again, these are all of the 10 plus builds for the M13 or the SIG MCX Virtus in real life. Again, let me know down below what you think. If you like the video and like the content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well as like the video. It really helps out smaller channels like me. And again, we're growing really fast, so I appreciate that. We also have the Discord link as well as social media links down below. If you're trying to get a hold of me, you have video suggestions, uh, different builds you want to try, uh, conversions that you want me to try, go ahead and you can message me there as well as comment here on YouTube, and I'll go ahead and get to those as well. So I have Instagram and Twitter down there as well as the Discord. We have a nice little community going where we share a bunch of conversions and uh, come up with different ideas so go ahead and jump in there. If you have Discord, go ahead and join up there. But again, let me know what you think of this video down below, if you like the M13 or not. And until next time, Buffner Gaming, out.